Right friends, welcome back to SNT Health and Environment. We are going to discuss important topic uh, corals and coral bleaching. Why this assumed significance is recent times there is a news item coral bleaching affected 93 percent of the reefs that make up the great barrier reef. Great barrier reef, you may ask where is the great barrier reef, please look into this slide. It is uh, towards the north eastern part of Australia starting from almost uh, Papua New Guinea and this is basically Queensland coast in Australia and this great barrier reef is situated at this location and uh, you may ask what is meant by coral reef before going into it let us understand the meaning of these words separately one is a coral and the other one is a reef then let us club these words together to get the combined meaning coral coral is nothing but a substance like a rock formed in the sea by groups of particular types of a small animals by a group of particular types of a small animals this substance like rock is formed in the sea that is a coral you may ask what is a reef a reef is nothing but just like a barrier a line of rocks or sand just above or just below the surface of the sea often dangerous to ships so reef is nothing but barrier coral is nothing but a substance like rock formed in the sea by groups of particular types of small sea creatures you can say so coral reef if you combine these two words together this coral reef is nothing but an area of coral the top of which can sometimes be just seen above sea that means it is a barrier established with the sea creatures sea creatures create stony like substances basically limestone or calcium carbonate and this acts as barrier that's why it is called coral reef right and we are talking about great barrier reef you may ask where is great barrier reef i have just now explained it is towards the coast of queensland in australia and if you want more about this great barrier reef it is the world's largest coral reef that means it is the barrier created by the sea creatures and it is the world's largest then it became world heritage site in 1981 then it is of the coast of queensland australia cnn labeled it as one of the seven natural wonders of the world and it consists of over 2900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching over a length of around 2300 kilometers another important aspect is that tourism generates 3 billion dollars every year in this great barrier reef area near australia and it is the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms and the biggest problem now this great barrier reef is facing widespread coral bleaching due to warming of ocean temperatures right and let us look at some more information about this coral organisms i have already told you this coral organisms are living marine creatures which secret this hard stone like substance that is nothing but calcium carbonate or you can say limestone and this living creature will be there on the top of that hard stony substance and it hosts various colors of zooxanthellae algae that's why it gives different colors why these coral reefs are so beautiful because it is hosting different types of different colors of zooxanthellae algae that's why it is having different colors and if you look at coral organisms class is anthozoa and kingdom is animals and this belongs to marine invertebrates you may ask what is invertebrate invertebrates are without the backbone and these marine creatures are also known as polyps and they are associated with the formation of spectacular limestone communities and they are tiny soft bodied organisms i am talking about organisms or sea creatures which secret the calcium carbonate and these organisms relate to sea anemones and jellyfish you may ask what are sea anemones and jellyfish please look into these pictures 
sea anemones and these are uh, jellyfish and these corals uh, or you can say these marine creatures live in tropical waters and their base is hard protective limestone skeleton known as the calicil which forms the structure for these coral reefs and base is limestone then on the top of it polyps and they host different types of algae which gives primarily beauty to these barrier reef that is the great barrier reef looks with different colors because of algae and if you want more about the coral anatomy please look into this picture and if you want more information about coral organisms these polyps attaches itself to a rock on the sea floor then divides into thousands of uh, clones then these uh, polyp calicles connect to one another creating a colony that acts as a single organism and if you look at it after hundreds of years what will happen they join with other colonies uh, forming reefs and some of the coral reefs of this planet began growing over 50 million years ago and corals live close to the surface where the sun's rays can reach algae and they get their colors as I have already told you from billions of colorful algae they host and average life of uh, polyp colonies is five years to several centuries and they are highly sensitive to climate change and coral reef fossils are used by climate scientists to study prehistoric climatic patterns right and you may ask a pertinent question how do these uh, sea creatures or corals get their food i have already told you they host billions of colorful zooxanthellae algae and most of the required nutrients of these uh, polyps come from the byproducts of algae's photosynthesis because of photosynthesis in this algae the byproducts will become nutrients for these polyps that is one way the second way is these polyps have barbed venomous tentacles please look into this slide these are the tentacles and these barbed venomous tentacles stick out usually during night times to grab zooplankton and even small fish right so there are two ways of getting food for these polyps and human factors could kill 30 percent of the existing reefs in the next 30 years and corals covers less than one percent of the ocean floor but supports about 25 percent of marine creatures that is the biggest advantage of these corals very important and interesting point these corals covers less than one percent of total ocean floor but supports about 25 percent of marine creatures and why coral reefs are so important first one is they are most diverse ecosystem on the earth that provides a biodiversity we will talk about the biodiversity sometime later in SNT, maybe next week, and they are important just like rainforests. These rainforests are very important, and they are important from biodiversity perspective. And similarly, these coral reefs are very important if you look at the marine biodiversity. Second one is they provide food, protection, and shelter for fish and other marine animals and millions of human beings are dependent on reef fish. Third important point is coral reefs dissipate wave energy from storms and tsunamis which will reduce damage to the adjacent coastal region. That is the precise reason why they are called barrier reefs. And because of their biodiversity, drugs required for the mankind can be extracted from the coral reefs. And most important point, another important aspect is coral polyps turn carbon dioxide in water into limestone shell. All of you are well aware this coral's secret limestone by taking carbon dioxide from seawater and without the corals, carbon dioxide in seawater will increase. 
then they are beautiful and natural wonders and coral reefs support more species per unit area than any other marine environment and the coral reefs support around 4000 species of fish. And now the important point is how the coral reefs are being destroyed. As I have already told you, coral reefs are highly sensitive to climate change. Warming of sea temperatures is the primary reason. Even 1 degree centigrade rise in sea temperatures result in coral bleaching. We will come to the meaning of coral bleaching a little while later. Second important point is huge populations living near the coastal regions resulted in silting of reefs because of a discharge from these human habitations. Then another important aspect is the pollution by nutrients released into the sea by the human habitations is another reason for destroying these coral reefs. Then overfishing in coastal areas is another reason which is resulting in damage to ecosystem. Then fourth one is because of warmer waters and nutrients in coastal areas, harmful algae will grow on corals because of which the Juxanthale algae which is basically giving food to corals will be destroyed. Hence, food chain to corals will be destroyed and because of which biodiversity will be destroyed. And if you look at some countries like Philippines, fishing is done by blowing up the coral reefs with explosives. And sometimes cyanide is also being used to catch fish. Because of all these reasons, this coral reefs in turn biodiversity of marine environment is being disturbed or destroyed. Please look into this slide, the coral bleaching, how this looks before coral bleaching and after coral bleaching. Right? And what is the coral bleaching? When corals are stressed by changes in conditions such as temperature, light, or nutrients as we have already discussed climate change that is raising temperatures is one reason second reason is the release of nutrients because of human habitations close to the coastal areas is another reason because of all these reasons what will happen when this enter the sea water when the sea temperatures raise corals expel this zooxanthellae algae when this algae is expelled then corals look white this time it occurred due to warmer temperatures of Pacific Ocean. When this algae is not there, corals will not get their food. Because corals get their food predominantly from this algae. When this algae is not there, then food security to this corals is destroyed. Then there is every likelihood of this corals dying. And they can survive if the conditions are removed quickly. So, because of these raising temperatures and pollution in coastal areas are increased in nutrients and silting in coastal areas, what will happen? This zooxanthellae algae is expelled from these corals and when this algae is expelled, then the food chain is broken to corals and there is possibility that corals may die and there is a case for reversing this process also, but sometimes reversing the conditions may be difficult. So, the destruction of a symbiotic algae due to stressful conditions which may result in destruction of corals due to the expelling of this zooxanthellae algae is known as coral bleaching. Right? How coral bleaching occurs? There are four reasons. Increased ocean temperatures due to climate change. In shallow corals, exposure to high temperatures. In shallow corals, exposure to air due to low tides, which can also cause bleaching. And near shore, corals can be bleached by pollutants, nutrients and excessive runoff during storms. Right? So, coral bleaching is occurring in Great Barrier Reef, 93% is affected and because of coral bleaching, dying of corals may take place. Because of dying of corals, 
the biodiversity will be destroyed. We have already discussed what will happen if these coral reefs are destroyed, right? So let us hope the mankind to raise up to the occasion to preserve biodiversity of a marine environment. Right friends, let us conclude the SNT Health and Environment. Please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.